Hi, my name is Jade. And I'm Carl. And this year we're going to be racing the Atlas Mountain Race as a pair. The Atlas Mountain Race is an off-road bike packing race, a uh, single stage between Marrakesh and Agir in Morocco. Uh, it's pretty much nearly all off-road, it doesn't sound like there's going to be much road in it. And we're doing 720 miles and I can't remember how many feet's climbing but I'm pretty sure it's officially hilly. <laughs> so earlier in the year, Reece Strap asked me if I wanted to do the race and I did but I never really gave them a proper answer. And I eventually just couldn't commit to doing it on my own. So me and Jade have done a lot of riding together and she's very organized and I'm not. So I thought it'd be good to have her along. It was a bit of a last minute decision. So I haven't been overly preparing. Uh, basically after Highland Trail, I thought I was gonna be a massive wreck this year, but I've been surprisingly all right and wanted to have another adventure before the end of summer and um, so when the opportunity to do this came up I thought yeah definitely gonna go for it that we've only had about a month and a half to to prepare so I've just been reading lots of blogs uh, making sure I've got all my vaccinations and trying not to panic too much about the lack of weather information I can find and um, so I've chosen the gravel bike for this race uh, because I've I think I'm most experienced with, with riding it. I know I'm comfortable riding it over long distances. And I think if I can do the uh, Highland Trail 550 on it, then I should be able to do the Atlas Mountain Race. So despite having a very nice mountain bike, I haven't really done any long distance riding on it yet. So um, I just much prefer to ride something that I know that I can ride for a week straight like every day and not have any issues with and I know that about this bike and like I've been riding mountain bike routes um, on my gravel bike for years now and I don't really find it stops me <laughs> um, so yeah why not so we're at really strap and this is the, the cutting room this is where I would work most of the time on the uh, two laser machines that we've got over there, cutting the uh, saddlebags and uh, um, plastics. This is the bike that I'll be riding for the Atlas Martin race. But this time around, I've got the uh, Fairlight Sican 2.5. Um, got some fatter tires on it this time to deal with the rough terrain in the Atlas Mountains. I've got a uh, Shimano GRX on. I've got the Wolf Tooth. 36 tooth chain ring. So I've got 36, 46 as the lowest gearing, which will hopefully uh, help with all the climbing. My setup for the Atlas Martin race is pretty similar to GB Juro that I did a few years ago. Uh, things that have changed, we brought out the new race range kit. So I've got the top tube, stem bags, bar bag, uh, the frame bags, the race one, and then same same uh, 14 litre standard saddle bag. In the top tube bag I'll be having snacks and things that I just need to get hold of pretty fast. Uh, I've got a naked bar, a uh, tubeless repair kit, 20 quid, my pump, skittles, jelly tots, the one. So my frame bag I'll have uh, my spare tubes, uh, more snacks and uh, probably my power banks. Exposure Taro, which uh, will be coming pretty handy when on the descents. I think there'll be, there'll be lots of night time to be cycling through. And then for most of the time I'll be using a lead lens uh, head torch, which I'll, I've got lots of batteries for. So on the Atlas Mountain Race, the, the range of temperatures are going to be pretty wide. It's, probably going to be uh, freezing at night and uh, probably up to 30 or so degrees in the middle of the day. So in the race bar bag, I think I'll be having spare clothes, sort of warm, warm extra layers and uh, any other sort of larger spares that I need. In the 14 litre saddle bag, I've got my sleeping kit and uh, jackets, down jackets and uh, 
just warm layers. I've got the uh, race stems on. I'll probably probably have suntan cream and uh, sunglasses in the left hand one and probably some more snacks in the right hand one. How much suntan lotion do you take? Uh, a lot, probably factor 50, kids. <laughs> <laughs> So to cope with the hot weather, I think I'll be getting a uh, long sleeve shirt to, to cover myself up a bit. I'll probably have uh, cover my neck and basically just covering up and trying to stay out of the direct sun sunlight as best possible. But I'll we'll probably need uh, a lot of water on for this race. So I've got the two uh, Fidlock uh, bottles on the frame and then I'm gonna have uh, some bigger bottles on the fork, forks to uh, hopefully get us between each uh, rest stop. This is my setup for the Atlas Mountain Race. I've got a Genesis Fujio 30, which is a gravel bike, not a mountain bike. Uh, but I basically have it set up to be as much like a mountain bike as possible. Uh, 2.1 inch tires, very low gearing, just really good for off-road. So I've mostly gone with the race range. Uh, I've got the new race bar pack. So in the bar pack, I've got uh, my pajamas, my sleeping mat, my spare bib shorts, and my puffer jacket, um, and some other bits and bobs for keeping warm. So this is my first aid kit, very important. And on this side, I've got some suntan lotion and an emergency battery bank, also very important. <laughs> Uh, the stem pouches are just going to have food in and this top tube bag which fits perfectly on my frame, not an inch wasted. I've got my spare inner tube and one of the restrap um, tyre boots which is very important to carry even though you might, well hopefully will never ever use it. <laughs> and then I've got my secondary water bladder which I can attach my um, filter onto and like hang it to gravity filter out dirty water also very important and then I have some cable ties which you never know when you're going to need and my screwdriver for when I need to change my brake pads because I'm really bad at it and I need this massive screwdriver in order to do it and then I've gone for the good old standard 14 litre saddle bag. I've been using these for about 10 years and they're just perfect. Okay, so in my saddle bag, I have my bivy bag stuffed right down the bottom and then I have my sleeping bag. Um, and then I have my waterproof jacket, my waterproof trousers, my head torch, probably other toiletries, uh, maybe some more spare bits of layers like uh, tops and shorts and then I'll put some food in there when I get there. <laughs> not expecting much rain but I'm not going to go anywhere without my waterproofs just in case. Uh, you never know what it's going to be like at the top of a mountain and I'd much rather carry them and not have to use them than not have them and get caught out. We have not decided what we can, worked out what we can actually split yet. Uh, I think I'm going to take the first aid kit because um, we probably only need one between us and hopefully we'll be able to work out what tools we can sort of share. Um, but yeah, mostly I think it'll be divvying out the food. I've been trying to convince Carl to carry all my stuff for me because he's a faster rider, so I think it would even us out, but he won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> the, the main thing that I've been concerned about for Atlas is being able to have enough to drink. So this one's just a normal water bottle, which I'll try and keep for clean water only. Um, and this one is a filter bottle that has a filter inside um, so that I can just fill it straight out of a stream or a river or whatever and drink it and it'll be safe. The best thing about having the water filter is that you shouldn't have to carry as much water as not having one um, because we don't need to make sure we have enough water for between each shop. We just need to make sure we have enough water for between each place where there is water on the ground. So uh, daylight hours are quite short already in Morocco, so we're definitely going to be doing a lot of night riding. I've got my uh, Son Dynamo. I love having the Dynamo. I think it's a massive game changer if we want to do night riding, uh, especially as we're going to be going somewhere where we probably won't be able to charge stuff very easily. So not having to worry about needing the batteries for a light is really useful. Uh, I'm a bit worried about how hot it's going to be. Um, it's not nice riding when it's like 30 degrees plus, 
but maybe we'll be able to sleep or sort of have our rest time over the hottest part of the day and then ride through the night a bit more. Um, and then I guess it's just the unknown. We don't know what it's going to be like, don't know what the shops are going to sell, but we'll find out when we get there. Uh, thanks for checking this out and if you want to follow along all the details are down below.